Andy Serkis Actor and Filmmaker Andrew Clement Serkis is an English actor and filmmaker. He is best known for his motion capture roles comprising motion capture acting, animation, and voice work for computer-generated characters such. Born, 1964, age 60 years, London, United Kingdom. Spouse, Lorraine Ashbourne, M. 2002. Upcoming movies, The Batman Part II, Untitled Adventures of Tintin Sequel. Children, Ruby Ashbourne Circus, Louis Ashbourne Circus, Sonny Ashbourne Circus. Awards, Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture. English film actor, director, and author Andy Serkis is known for his performance capture roles comprising motion capture acting, animation and voice work for such computer-generated characters as Gollum in the Lord of the Rings film trilogy, 2001-2003, and The Hobbit. An Unexpected Journey, 2012, the eponymous King Kong in the 2005 film, Caesar and Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 2011, and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, 2014, Captain Haddock slash Sir Francis Haddock in Steven Spielberg's The Adventures of Tintin, 2011, and Supreme Leader Snoke in Star Wars, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, 2015. Circus earned a Golden Globe Award nomination for his portrayal of serial killer Ian Brady in the British television film Longford, 2006, and was nominated for a BAFTA Award for his portrayal of new wave and punk rock musician Ian Dury in the biopic Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll, 2010. In 2015, he had a small role in Avengers, Age of Ultron, 2015. Circus has his own motion capture workshop, the Imaginarium Studios in London which he will use for his directorial debut, Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle, 2018. Andrew Clement G. Circus was born April 20, 1964, in Ryslip Manor, West London, England. He has three sisters and a brother. His father, Clement Circus, an ethnic Armenian whose original family surname was Circassian, was a medical doctor working abroad, in Iraq. The Circus family spent time around the Middle East, and for the first ten years of his life, Andy traveled between Baghdad and London. His mother, Lily Weech, who was British-born, was busy working as a special education teacher of handicapped children, so Andy and his four siblings were raised with au pairs in the house. Young Circus wanted to be an artist, he was fond of painting and drawing, and visualized himself working behind the scenes. He attended St. Benedict's School, a Roman Catholic school for boys, at the Benedictine Abbey in London. Circus studied visual arts at Lancaster University in the northwest of England. There, he became involved in mechanical aspects of the theatre and did stage design and set building for theatrical productions. Then, Circus was asked to play a role in a student production, and made his stage debut in Barry Keefe's play, Gotcha, thereafter. He switched from stage design to acting, which was a real calling that transformed his life. Instead of going to an acting college, Circus, in 1985, began his professional acting career at the Duke's Playhouse in Lancaster, where he was given an equity card and performed in 14 plays, one after another, as an apprentice of Jonathan Petherbridge. After that, he worked in touring theater companies, doing it for no money fueled by a sense of enthusiasm, moving to a new town every week. He has thus appeared in a host of popular plays and on almost every renowned British stage. In 1989, he appeared in a stage production of William Shakespeare's Macbeth, so beginning his long association with the Royal Exchange Theatre, Manchester, where he would return many times, to appear in She Stoops to Conquer, Your Home in the West and The True Nature of Love, among other plays. In the 1990s, Circus began to make his mark on the London stage, appearing at the Royal Court Theatre as the Fool in King Lear, making his interpretation of the Fool as the woman that Lear, a widower, could relate to a man, in drag, as a Victorian musician. He also appeared as Potts in the hit play, Mojo, playing in front of full houses and earning huge critical success. In 1987, Circus made his debut on television and he acted in several major British TV miniseries throughout the 1990s. In 1999, 
Andy Serkis landed the prize role of Gollum in Peter Jackson's epic film trilogy based on J.R.R. Tolkien's saga, The Lord of the Rings. He spent four years in the part and received awards and nominations for his performance as Gollum, a computer-generated character in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, 2003, which won 11 Oscars. Gollum was the collaborative team's effort around circus work in performance capture and art form based on CGI-assisted acting. Circus work was an interactive performance in a skin-tight CGI suit with markers allowing cameras to track and register 3D position for each marker. Circus Every Nuance was picked up by several cameras positioned at precisely calculated angles to allow for the software to see enough information to process the image. The images of circus performances were translated into the digital format by animators at Weighted Digital Studio in New Zealand. There, his image was keyframe animated and then edited into the movie. Circus did have one scene in The Return of the King showing how he originally had the ring, killing another hobbit to posses it after they found it during a fishing trip. He drew from his three cats clearing fur balls out of their throats to develop the constricted voice he produced for Gollum and Smeagol, and it was also enhanced by sound editing in post-production. Circus spent almost two years in New Zealand and away from his family and much of 2002 and 2003 in post-production studios for large periods of time, due to complexity of the creative process of bringing the character of Gollum to the screen. Circus had to shoot two versions for every scene, one version was with him on camera, acting with, chiefly, Elijah Wood and Sean Astin, which served both to show Wood and Astin the moves so that they could precisely interact with the movements of Gollum, and to provide the CGI artists the subtleties of Gollum's physical movements and facial expressions for their manual finishing of the animated images. In the other version, he'd go the voice off camera, as Wood and Astin repeated their movements as though Gollum were there with them. That take would be the basis for inserting the CGI Gollum used in the released movie. In post-production, Circus was doing motion capture wearing a skin-tight motion capture suit with CGI gear, while acting as a virtual puppeteer redoing every single scene in the studio. Additional CGI rotomation was done by animators using the human eye, instead of the computer, to capture the subtleties of Circus' performance. Circus also used this art form in his performance as Kong in King Kong, 2005, which won him a Toronto Film Critics Association Award, 2005 for his unprecedented work helping to realize the main character in King Kong, and a Visual Effects Society Award, 2006, for outstanding animated character in a live-action motion picture. Apart from his line of CGI-driven characters, Circus continued with traditional acting in several leading and supporting roles, such as his appearances as Richard Neeland opposite Jennifer Garner in 13 Going on 30, 2004, and Ali opposite David Bowie in The Prestige. 2006, among other film performances. On television, he starred as Vincent Van Gogh in the sixth episode of Simon Shama's Power of Art, 2006, the BBC Two series about artists. Circus is billed as Capricorn in the upcoming adventure film, Inkheart, 2008. At the same time, he continued the development of performance capture while expanding his career into computer games. He starred as King Bothan in the martial arts drama, Heavenly Sword, 2007, a PlayStation 3 title, for which he provided a basis for his in-game face and also acts as a dramatic director on the project. Andy Serkis married actress and singer Lorraine Ashbourne, and the couple have three children, daughter Ruby Serkis, born in 1998, and two sons Sonny Serkis, born in 2000, and Louis Ashbourne Serkis, born on June 19, 2004, who is now also a movie star. Away from acting, Andy Serkis is an accomplished amateur painter. Since his school years at Lancaster, being so close to the Lake District, Serkis developed his other passion in life, mountaineering. He is a pescetarian. Serkis has been active in charitable causes, such as the Hope Foundation, which provides essential life-saving medical aid for children suffering from leukemia and children from countries devastated by war. In October 2006, he was a presenter at the first annual British Academy Video Games Awards at the Roundhouse, London. Andy Serkis lives with his family in North London, England. Family Spouse Lorraine Ashbourne, July 22, 2002 Present, Three Children Children Sonny Ashbourne Serkis Louis Ashbourne Serkis Ruby Ashbourne Serkis
Parents Clement Circus Lily Weech Relatives Sibling 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 Trademarks Turquoise Eyes Known for his frequent motion capture performances Known for his expressive facial movements with CGI characters Often cast by director Peter Jackson Trivia Owns one of two prop rings used in Lord of the Rings. The other went to Elijah Wood, who played Frodo Baggins. Based the voice of Gollum on the sounds his cats made while coughing up fur balls. His performance as Gollum in the Lord of the Rings trilogy is ranked number 10 on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Movie Characters of All Time. His last day of filming on the Lord of the Rings trilogy was only a few weeks before the theatrical release of The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, 2003. On the carpet of Peter Jackson's living room, they filmed the facial reaction of Smeagol slash Gollum when he realizes Frodo intends to destroy the ring. The resulting video was emailed to Weta Digital so the animators could replicate the shot with the CGI character. Born to Lily Weech, a British mother who taught handicapped children, and Dr. Clement Circus, a gynecologist, born in Iraq of Armenian descent who opened a hospital in Baghdad and was briefly imprisoned under Saddam Hussein's regime, and he attended St. Benedict's School, Ealing, London, a Roman Catholic school. Uses his Gollum voice on his children, for fun and or when they misbehave. Although he was critically acclaimed for the performances, he was ruled ineligible for Best Supporting Actor nominations at the 2003, 2004 and 2012 Academy Awards because his characters Gollum in The Lord of the Rings. The Two Towers, 2002, and The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, 2003, and Caesar in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 2011, were computer-generated. As of 2019, he has appeared in four films that were Oscar-nominated for Best Picture, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, 2001, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, 2002, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, 2003, and Black Panther, 2018. Of these, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, 2003, is a Best Picture winner. Has twice played computer-generated apes, in King Kong, as the giant title character, and Rise of the Planet of the Apes, as Caesar, the chimpanzee who leads the rebellion, was required to don a wetsuit and flail around in literally freezing water during reshoots for The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, 2002. The Imaginarium London-based production and performance capture studio is headed by Circus and his friend and business partner Jonathan Cavendish. His family name, Circus, is of Armenian descent like Mikhail Vartanov's and Sergei Parajanov's, but originally would have been Sarkeesian, Vartanian's, and Parajanian, respectively, has three children, a daughter, Ruby, born 1998, and two sons, Sonny Ashbourne Circus, born 2000, and Louis Ashbourne Circus, born June 19, 2004, the latter of whom starred in the film The Kid Who Would Be King, 2019. Completing and directing motion capture for PlayStation 3's game Heavenly Sword at Weta Digital in Wellington, New Zealand. Plays the character of King in the game. Has thrice co-starred with Jamie Bell, Death Watch, 2002, King Kong, 2005, and The Adventures of Tintin, 2011. September 2004 attended the Armageddon Pulp Culture Expo Convention in Wellington, New Zealand as a Lord of the Rings guest. Has three sisters and a brother. Born on the same date as Crispin Glover. Quotes On playing Gollum in Lord of the Rings, everyone has their own interpretation of what he is, what he looks like and how he sounds. So it was up to me to just trust my own instincts. We didn't want to anthropomorphize him to the point where we were explaining every single little gesture. Gorillas, both in captivity and the wild, have an enigmatic quality, a sense of disconnect, of otherness on his title character in King Kong, 2005. I do feel incredibly liberated when I'm inside another skin, basically, and so method does afford you that, hugely. I've always been really in touch with my primal instincts. In my profession you have to be. You have to be open to going where your emotions take you. Acting is a sort of pressure cooker that allows the fizz to come out the top. God knows what I'd be like if I didn't have that. 
even more animal, perhaps. On learning at ape school how to walk and move like a simian, playing Caesar in Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 2011, when you are watching yourself as an actor who has played a computer-generated role, King Kong. Obviously you are looking to see if your performance has fully manifested itself on the screen, and if it contains all the original intention that was put there. And what I've seen, so far, has delighted me, because I know Rupert, Wyatt, has been devoted to try and push the emotional core of all the performances right through the post-production phase. On The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, 2012, trying to get back into the head of Gollum, it felt like kinda doing an impersonation if a character I had played. It was weird, cause it was like having to reown it again. About his motion capture work for Gollum and for King Kong, I thought, man, I'm going to go from a three and a half foot ring junkie to a 25 foot gorilla, you know, and this is the end of typecasting as we know it. On The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, 2015, July 11, 2017. Stephen Colbert asked Circus to read a few tweets by President Donald Trump in the voice of Gollum, the fake news media has never been so wrong or so dirty. Purposely incorrect stories and phony sources to meet their agenda of hate. Sad. Despite the constant negative press, Kofefi wait, wait. What's Kofefi, precious? Colbert replies, no one knows. On Mowgli, we wanted to engage much more closely with the tone of the book. It's not so much a child's fairy tale. This has a reality to it. There is real consequence. This is definitely drawn from Kipling and has a much darker approach to the storytelling. There's no singing or dancing by the animals, that's for sure. Point one of the main themes in this movie is, who am I, in the world of animals, and in the world of man? It all hinges on the quest to find his own identity. The journey is immense, and I think it will be very surprising for an audience. People have such strong preconceptions about the characters and the story. Thank <laughs> you.